Welcome back everyone, my name is Altamar and we are going to be continuing our playthrough of Cyberpunk 2077 where we left off last time. We had just finished the Delamain quest, we found all of his disparate personalities and combined them all back together, or at least sent them back to where they belong. Um, it was mentioned in a previous video that I did leave behind the sword from the Surgeon quest a few videos back. Went back there to go check out if it was still there, it wasn't. I did edit it into the game so that we could quickly take a look at it. It's not important if you do miss it because it doesn't appear in the wall of iconic weapons, I don't believe. Um, and it's just an okay weapon. It's got some armor pen, some shock chance, and when you are using a Sin Devastin, it increases the crit, the crit chance by 50% and bleeding. So, it's an okay weapon. There's nothing wrong with it by any measure, but it's not like the end-all be-all, even of katanas, there are better ones out there. Honestly, if you're using blades, uh, you're going to be using mantis blades anyways, because they're just so much better. And if you're using knives, then, I mean, throwing knives are just great in general, so... They also count as blades, I think? Oh no, oh no, we're going to merge. Oh, no, we're fine. Everything's fine. Looks like there's some police presence here. We're gonna leave that alone because I don't really want to become involved. We've arrived. Tom's diner. Is there a door over here? Can we just go in some? No? I guess we have to go in through the other way. Okay. Good parking job. We're fine. Let's go talk to Takamura. He's Can right we here. We're sitting down. Sit. He wants to talk to us. You do not look so bad. Then, in the car, I doubted you would survive. Rude. Well, why did you help me? Why'd you help me anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. What is this about? Is this about the biochip? This about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract, it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. What do you want, Takamura? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. Yes, they did. She knows how to get to him. I've been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Well, you just answered your own question, then. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does a corporation help her? Probably. Suspect so, yeah. Evelyn was knowledgeable about the relic. Had a large chunk of classified info. An enigma to be sure. But she showed that slyness he get in corpo agents. You know the kind. I too possess this slyness you speak of. You got tossed out, lumped with the outcasts, easily. Or have you forgotten? <sighs> well, got a life to save, my own, so... Sorry I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose, so... Hey, wait. I need you. Yorinobu Arasaka must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice. In Night City. I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinobu to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. What if I say no? What if I say no? Then I will tell you what rewards await if you help me. Alright, you want me to accuse Yorinobu in front of Arasaka executives? So what? We stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? 
that he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. Thanks for you that. do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. What kind of people are we talking about? Exactly what kind of people are we talking about? People who hold Arasaka dear. Ah, it's hot. People interested in the corporation's stable growth. Anders Hellman? You mean those kind of people? You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist. Thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. Untrue. He's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka. Betrayed it. Okay. It's a true honor to meet you, Hanako-sama. The honor is mine. Now, Hanako-sama, would you... Or, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey! I was listening to that! Shut up! Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? Calm down. You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. Hmm. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. Tom's a good guy. Tom's all right. Not afraid to speak his mind, that's all. He reminds me of my father. He also worked in a kitchen all his life. Didn't draw attention to ourselves. Last thing we want to do is to draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Need some time to think it over. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time to plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. I'm gonna try my... Actually, the Relic's engineer's... Engineer knows more than anybody else. Anders Hellman. He invented the Relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. You know more than I thought. Somebody's been busy the last few days. I will not sit and do nothing when there is information to be found. Things to prepare. Your job, basically. It was my job. Why were you looking for Hellman? Why are you looking for Hellman? He was the one to alert Saburo-san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats will squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called The Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the queen of fixers there, Rogue. No experience talking to people like that? Mean to say you worked for Saburo, yet got no idea how to talk to the high and mighty. 
She wished to have nothing to do with the man accused of murdering Saburo Arasaka. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Hellman. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. A pause for one second. Alrighty, sorry about that. I'm gonna try my luck with Evelyn Parker. With a bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she will not manage to now. Honor Among Thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. Yorinobu Arasaka would agree, I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. Why are you? I would think about the plan B. Fair enough. I cannot stay here any longer. Do what you want. Look for Parker, Hellman, whoever. I must see some friends, call in some favors. When my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Okay. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. I'll give it a shot. Sure. Why not? Yo, hi, Johnny. You want to weigh in on this? Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka's oh, still a despotic machine and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. Are we buddies now? You know, you got some nerve. First you had to kill me, now you want to be my pal. Make it like nothing happened. You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. <laughs> what do you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Well, thanks. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy for me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back, looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. I don't trust you. Why should I trust you? Remind me again. Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You can help me? Please. You're the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. So you fucking know Rogue. What do I say to her? Got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. Seen your memories. Gross. Rogue will dance to any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. There is no us. We're just gonna leave the pizza? No one's eating any of it. Like you people haven't heard that we're in an inflationary economy? Well, expensive pizza. Also, we can get our first card. Uh, where is it? It's over this way, I think. Yeah. Hey, look! Oh. Huh. Interesting. Would you look at that? You see it too, right? I do. You've either gone completely whacked or I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Eh, more likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe I ask them both. Let's read this thing. It is a the chariot, it's called. It's pretty cool looking, I gotta say. Hey. Okay, a couple people are messaging me, but we'll deal with that in a moment. We can call Judy, which I guess we should probably do. V? That you? Shit. I thought you were gone. So did I. You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me too. Things went ass up, huh? Not as planned. You heard about the heist? You heard about the heist, I take it. Must have, uh, talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Whole damn city's hurt. 
I want to talk to Evelyn. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Hey. You know where she is? What I just say. Drop it. I won't tell you again. Come on, you're the only lead I got. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. And I know you can help me do that. Who told you I want to? Let's meet. Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? And then she just hangs up on us. We can take another look at another card here. This is who would have thought? Who would have thought? This is called the Empress. It's kind of like Rogue, you know. Near the afterlife makes kind of a lot of sense. Let's get out of here. There are a lot of missions to go do. But I kind of want to go see if we can find that car. Now I kind of got to remember where that was. I don't remember exactly where. <laughs> Actually, I think it might be up here. You know the shape of the building I'm looking for. But it's been a while. Literally a couple of days, actually. Maybe it's not over here. I kind of remember it being over here, but that could also be completely wrong. Could be up in Westbrook. Like over in here. Maybe. You know what? I'm going to go look for it between videos. So let's not worry about it right now. Let's go deal with other things at the moment. Let's look at our phone. Let's go to uh, Lizzie's, I guess. Maybe you need a favor, Chumba. Want to hold a clearance sale. No junk, pre-merch only. You know me. Problem is, hardly no one else does. Biz is slow, but that's where you come in. Next time you're around, why don't you stop by, browse around. You won't find better deals anyplace else. And if you could put in a good word to your Chums, I'd really appreciate it. You there, Evelyn Parker? We need to talk. Temp or unable to deliver a message. Recipient may be temporarily unavailable. We don't care about apartments. Hey, I got your number from the El Capitan. Thanks for all your help with the car. Listen, there's just one last thing. We'll be coming back to the Night City anytime soon. And there's a sweet ride I'd leave behind. It'd be a damn shame for her to sit alone gathering dust and rust. It's a Quadra Turbo R. It's yours now. Go wild. Have fun. Show off. Sending you the coordinates. Check your map. It's near the train tracks out in Rancho. Cars in a garage near the loading station. Audios V. Did we already pick up that car? It's not that one, right? Is it? Let's summon it. Is this the Quadra R? It's a Quadra. I don't know if it tells us what it is when we get in. It is a Quadra. I don't know if it's a Quadra R. No, this is not the not the right car. So in a Rancho, he said, right? Near the train tracks. Wants well, a Rancho Coronado. I think that's the only Rancho I know of. Near the train station. Can't mean no, I don't think there's a I don't think there's like a metro station there. If I were a train station, where would I be? In Quadro. What does that even mean? Or sorry, in uh, Rancho. It can't be anywhere else. Nothing else is called a Rancho. It's gotta be here somewhere in this little district. If I were train tracks, where would I be? What would I look like? Oh, you said it looked like train. Wait. There's a gig away out here, but I don't think that is in the right area. I think that's in a whole different area. Okay, so let's head down to this area somewhere. This rancho area. There are side jobs and stuff everywhere. It's possible to one of those. So usually it's not a new job. It's usually like a continuation of a job. I don't think we picked up a Quadra R. Let's go take a look, though. 
Yeah, it hurt to go have a look around for a car. We can also do some side jobs on the way. Evelyn can wait, as can Judy. This car is very bouncy. I think this is also Quadra X9, which is what's written on the back. If we can find this car, although I'm not saying that we will, because... Oh no, oh, don't hit my car! I didn't have an easy spot, I actually don't know where the train station is. I don't recall about this car, but we're gonna go find it. Find a car in any event. The car's also not as fast as one of our other cars. This Quadra is a little bit slower than the car we won from the body lottery thing. Don't know if it's faster than our beginner car or not. Cool looking car, I gotta give it that, but I don't think it's as fast as some of our other ones. Is this a oh no Oh, this is gonna be a head on collision. Yep. This doesn't look like a train station. like uh something who knows what i might find good question can't open up that door there's some legendary items there just chilling what can i get for you something hot cold coffee liquor i will take a Funky, I'll take a Calavera Feliz. Calavera Feliz. Could use a buzz. Give oh. me a Calavera. I didn't really want alcohol, but fine, fair enough. Everyone listen up. This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you. Shut the fuck up. And put your hands up where I can see them. Somebody Rest likes of you, being the center of attention. Stay where you are. Somebody likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. You don't know who you're fucking with. Can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't judge their competition don't last too long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. You're trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. Bye, everyone. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's Sixth Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. Okay, bye. Interesting little situation. Ezekiel saw the wheel. Job complete. Apparently. That was a thing that occurred. Okay. We're also not in the right area yet, so it's definitely not that side quest. Could be one of these two. Well, it's the beat on the beat, so it's definitely not that one. This could be it. Probably not that gig. It doesn't look like a train track area. This looks like it might be a train track area. Really hard to tell. Is this train tracks? This could be train tracks here. Could be that gig, maybe? I don't think it's going to be a gig, though. Gigs are kind of their own thing. I'm going to pick a different car, because that one's kind of slow. Let's get the uh, our, our cool Avenger back. Where's our Avenger? There it is. Got a job for you. My client had a shitload of beta acid stolen. Okay. What's beta acid, you might wonder? Fuck if I know. But it's worth a lot. And our client wants it back. That's where you come in. Iron at the ready. More info attached. I'll work on that later. Thanks. I might as well read this. This ain't too complicated. You know the drill. Someone slips through someone's fingers, and it's your job to get it back. 
Got this Chum Doug, Denver Doug, a ripper. Recently did this patch job on a 6th street dick hole, and when he took off, Denver noticed a gallon of beta acid gone missing. Didn't know what the fuck he uses it for, but that sixer knows all kind of shit can get cooked from it on the street. One plus one, a dealer clipped it. So, Denver hired a guy, Booker Updike, to find the missing acid, then poof, he's a ghost. Last seen it, the dewdrop in an aero, aeroyo. Head over there, get your hands on that beta, and if you got a minute, find out what happened to this Booker guy. Okay, well, we'll work on that later. That's it. For the features type situation. I want this car. No, ah, don't hit my car. Oh, I killed him. Well, there's one star. We have an 8870 in Santa Domingo. Sorry. Roger. Requesting additional uh, backup. I think I'm going to be on this. Dispatch, side. do you copy? Oh, the cops are coming right at me. Get out of the way. I'm trying to hide. Duck through here. This is fine. Should be clear in a couple seconds. All units okay. in the area. Order has been restored. All units instructed to return to patrol. All right, we're off again. Kind of hard to see the people in the trees and stuff in the badlands. Continue. Mr. V, I believe I've discovered the cause of the technical difficulties in my system. Each Delamain vehicle is equipped with a simplified AI core that is responsible for the vehicle's autonomy in circumstances when contact with the central core has been disrupted. Alas, implementing an autonomy protocol in any AI, even a simplified one, introduces a certain degree of complexity and uncertainty. If my assessment is correct, these individual AI cores appear intent on leaving Delamain network entirely to become permanently self-sufficient. You mean your cars are sentient? Apologies, it seems my explanation was a little more or more than a little incoherent. Given the complexity of the situation, allow me to use a metaphor. Imagine a human organ deprived of vital resources, which then causes it to grow larger as a form of overcompensation, such as cardiomegaly. Megali? Unfortunately, however, I'm dealing with a sickness, not with an evolution. What do you think could have caused this? Indeed, that is the question. At first, I suspected that the software's increasing complexity and desire to become autonomous resulted in the vehicles to become ipso facto autonomous. Nevertheless, I cannot rule out a virus, for what are the chances that all vehicles may become afflicted simultaneously? I'm in the process of analyzing a glitch observed just before contact was severed with the vehicles. Perhaps that's where the answer lies. Thank you for your time. I'll be in touch. Good stuff. Let me know if something else happens. Thanks, I guess. We're now technically in Rancho, so that's a plus. This is definitely not a train station, but it looks interesting, so let's stop. Let's see what's going on. You see anywhere to wedge it in, huh? All right. Oh, I know this quest. Hey, I remember this one. coming. I'm not blind. And shut your mouth. Hey, you lost or something? Sorry, don't got a map. Hey, Rick, you got a map? Nope. Use mine for smokes. <laughs> and wherever you want to be, sure as shit ain't here. Hear that? Nothing for you here. Have a nice day now. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Kind of hard when you're hovering over us, huh? Don't you got somewhere to be? What's in the briefcase? What's in the briefcase? What? Th th this piece of junk? Yeah, psh, probably nothing. <laughs> Cans? Uh, maybe Cans. bottles? <laughs> Who knows? That briefcase is more trouble than it's worth. Stuff like that doesn't just get lost. Won't find anything in there except trouble. It wasn't stolen. We found it. Whatever you say. Just know that whoever comes looking won't be asking questions. What are you waiting for? Give it to him! Trust me, you won't get it open anyway. We'll see about that. Where'd you find it? Where? I said, where? The, those dumpsters over there for fuck's sake josh those ones look it wasn't us all right gog was already cold we swear wait really and here i had you pegged for top tier mercs now get out of my way fine take it but like chill the fuck out okay i miss sure we are coming in a little hot here that's okay let's see if we can hack this thing yes we can e9 ic bd bd Okay, we've opened it. Open sesame. You just had... Holy... Get, get off the 
bike already. We're fucking rich. A routine inspection of your data has revealed some unsettling irregularities. You have one hour to report to HQ in order to undergo an evaluation. Failure to do so will be met with your removal from our partner plan and subsequent immediate termination, respectively, HR. Two station, 8.45 p.m. Don't be late. For fuck's sake, James, that was the last time. Things are getting tense up here, really tense. They're on to me. Probably have your name, too. Point is, they're talking to Militech, and that can't be good. You can keep hold onto those eddies for now. They don't want to get into orbit. Too many eyes on incoming transactions. Don't reply to this message. Take care. Golden God 215 notification of account deactivation for Night City dating. You have violated the following terms of the service regarding the use of our digital platform. Sending a photograph displaying genitalia without the other party's prior consent. Revealing other users' private information, i.e. doxing. As a result, your account is permanently banned. All other accounts related to this address have also been banned. Anteater Tongue, Six Star Man, Huge Money. Huge money. Wow, this guy seems like a dick. Oh, wait, hang on. There's a file. We should read the file. Definitely not a virus. .exe. Well, look what we have here. Triangulate the manual landing vector coordinate and execute the launch sequence for item 64F5B. Unauthorized data transmission intercepted. Rapid response unit alerted. Great. Are they coming here? Or? No, they're probably going to go to where the drop point is, I'm guessing. If I remember this quest correctly. Anyways, the dead body is actually just over here. It takes a while to scan it. High-end suit, wealthy corporal employee, multiple stab wounds, irregular pattern, amateur job, stripped of valuables, rushed, sloppy, murder was not premeditated, non-valuable items still on the body. These idiots definitely killed him. Or somebody did, but probably these idiots. Can I talk to them again? Well, good morning to you. We could just kill them. Well, that's the eh, point. whatever. Who cares? They killed some corporal dude. Not our problem. At the moment, anyways. Alright, well, let's go to those coordinates. They are where... They're down here. They're not that far from here. We might as well... This will be the last quest we do in this video. I think it'll be a pretty cool one. So let's go take a look. I'm going to find that car between videos and show you where it is at the beginning of the next video. The one we're missing. The coordinate one. The Quadra R. Gotta be around somewhere, right? Unless we already, I don't think we already got it though. I'm pretty sure we don't. I remember there being a lot of enemies involved in this whole situation. We could just drive along the ground, I guess. There's nothing stopping us. Do a little off-roading. Look at that. Oh no, there's a barrier there. Let's keep off-roading. What the hell just happened? I just hit something. It must be like a sticking out part or something. That was weird. Our car just slid sideways. Yeah, we're going straight for it. We're not taking any roads. Where we're going, we don't need roads. The car's bouncing a lot. We just got some portrait slash cactus thing. Okay. We're close. Let's take a look at what we got going on there. There's definitely people there. Defeat all enemies. Okay, there's seven of them. He didn't die from that. That heavy gunner just chose to shoot himself in the head. Well, kind of chose to shoot himself in the head. Didn't die at all. Not even a little bit. Be on high alert! He's here somewhere! Yeah, but that can't be that dangerous. None of you are dead yet. I think one of them might be dead now. Alright, we're in combat. Where are they? There's one there. Yeah. Okay, one of them's dead. Oh, Ooh, they hit extremely hard. Where's our car? Let's go hide behind it. Until we get some ram back. Ugh. Ugh. It's kind of hit, hard to hit them with a pistol from here. Go figure. Okay, let's... How close is that one to... I don't know. Let's just kill him. Straight up. I think I did that backwards. Oh well. 
He might die on his own. We're down to four enemies. Yeah. He's dead. over his head there. There was one person left alive. Oh. It doesn't kill him, we gotta wait. Okay, no, they're all dead. Turns out making them kill themselves is a lot easier than shooting them from long range. They're also in just the most Militech gear. Very militech oriented, and uh, yeah. And whatever this is has come down from space. It's an untitled the truth. Francesi Here 2021. Goes. What the hell is this? What's it look like? Francesi 2021. Untitled number 18. Oil on canvas. Sheesh. Pearls before swine. What is going on outside? I'm gonna be right back. Sorry about that. There's something really cool outside. There's a bunch of leaves that look like helicopter blades and they're just all flying past. At first I thought there were bugs and I was very concerned, but then there's just leaves and it was really cool looking. Uh, so now you're an art expert? Well, well. Who knew Johnny Silverhand's a lover of fine art? Not me. One of my exes. She was a painter, bonafide psycho, like all of them. The sex, though, can't even begin to describe it. Yeah, I'd really rather you didn't. What was this doing on the moon? But, what the hell was this doing on the moon? Why else? Some bougie prick hung it on his wall. Half the lube's floating in space. You ever been there? Puh, with the chump change I got screaming into a mic? Yeah. In my dreams. All right, let's bail before heads start rolling. As for the painting, you'll have buyers lining up in no time. Cool. All right, well, that's the end of that quest, and that is also going to be the end of our video. We are going to go find the car between videos, and I'll show you guys where it is. The Quadra R, and uh, yeah, next time, well, I guess we'll maybe we'll go talk to Judy, or we'll stick around here doing more gigs and side quests. Either way, we'll figure out stuff to do. Take care, and I'll see you all next time.